Hey fellow agents, this is Agent Smith and we are going to be playing Gabriel Knight. This will be the ninth episode and in the previous ones we finished off day three and ended up getting into home with Miss Getty. So, in this day we're going to go ahead and take a look at all the new stuff we got going on. We'll check the newspaper. There's a dude standing out here. What the hell is that about? Get the hell out of here. The figure outside does not respond. Yeah, they got the voodoo people watching me. I'm telling you, that's what this is all about. Let's check the paper for today before we get going and then check our messages. She doesn't seem like she's in a good mood since I Stand slept with the lady June tonight. 21st, 1993. Gabriel's eye is immediately <laughs> drawn to an article about the voodoo murders. He scans it quickly. I don't believe this. They've closed the case. Of course. Case? The voodoo murders case. The paper says that the police have learned that the murders were a result of an underworld cartel war. And if the war is over, that's not good. It's ridiculous. And yeah. what about the killers? And the voodoo angle, they never got anything on that. I know you are into it, Gabriel, but if it's over, that's hardly a negative. Anyway, oh, it's not over. If you're that upset, why don't you talk it over with your pal Mosley? You might don't have to. Yeah, Grace. Just forget it, okay? Gabriel decides to check his horoscope, despite his disgust. Death walks close to you today. Resist temptation lest his eye fall on you, too. Oh, Peachy. Gabriel also spots an ad for Sam Springleton, a jeweler. Sam hmm. hangs out at the Napoleon house. Why do I need to know that? Oh, you know what? I can get that bracelet made. There we go. So it says, case closed. Voodoo murders solved. The so-called voodoo murders are all over at last, says Detective Franklin Mosley. <coughs> uh, I've been spelling his name wrong. <laughs> Mosley is what it should be. From the New Orleans police uh, police department. Our investigation has turned up the these murders were the result of underground car, or underworld cartel, uh, drug cartel. Excuse me, said uh, Mosley as the press conference yesterday evening. The war is now ended, and the people of this great city are safe again. The police they say they are doubling efforts to crack down on the underworld uh, drug trade that briefly turned New Orleans into its own private battleground. It's the advertisement he was talking about. I'd just like to read the full newspaper on those. Alright, well, let's talk to Grace, even though she's probably not in the mood for it. <laughs> Got a minute, Grace? What's up? No, okay, she's alright now. Do you have messages for me? Your grandmother called. About time. She said to remind you to stop by and go through your father's things. Hmm, okay. Do you have messages for me? That man from Germany called again, Wolfgang Ritter. Now he's claiming to be a relative of yours. Really? Interesting. Can I get that phone number for Wolfgang Ritter? Sure, I'll give it to you when we're done talking. Sounds good. I won't go into that yet. We're going to see my grandma first. Could you do some research for me? Sure, what? I have a the pattern, pattern I got from the park all pieced together. How interesting. What is it? It's a reconstruction of the tracings they found around the murder victims. The ones done in flower and blood. Yuck. You mm -hmm. shouldn't carry this kind of thing around. Who knows what these symbols mean? Yeah, I know. Well, wear your evil banishing gloves if you want, but check it out for me, would you? I'll see what I can find out. <laughs> anything else? Nah, that's it. I can't think of anything. All right. Here's that phone number. Oh yes, Thanks. yes. Thank you, Grace. All right, let's get on out of here. We're gonna go see Grandma and see if she can help us some information about family, especially with this Ritter guy contacting us all the time. It might be something that we might actually be part of the family. I'm out of here. Try not to sell out the store while I'm gone. Uh huh. Weird coincidence, the man calls twice back from Germany, or to Germany, should I say. We also got the Napoleon House location for the jewelry to get made. Grandma Knight's house. I'm so glad you stopped by. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry it's been a while, Grandma. Not at all. <laughs> Give me a kiss. <laughs> a real one. Now, right? come on, That's sit awesome. down. Tell me how you're doing. <laughs> Have you been, Grant? Just fine, dear. I'm sorry I bothered you at work, but um, I was hoping you'd get a chance to go through your father's things in the attic. Not a problem. Don't be silly. You can call me anytime. Oh man, I want to get her into all this kind of stuff. You know, you get prettier every time I see you. Oh, you. <laughs> Tell me about our family. Who would you like to hear about? All your of granddad, them. Your father or your mother? Tell me something about granddad. Harrison Knight. Your granddad immigrated to America when he was 21. He walked his way through school, met and married me, and we had your father, Philip. Tell me about my father. Your father was my only child. How we adored him. Of course, as your only child. Tell me about my mother. Your mother was Margaret Templeton when your father met her. She came from a very wealthy Creole family in New Orleans. She was beautiful and mm. reckless. She was madly in love with your father, of, of course. course. But I also think she liked to find her family. <laughs> Since you're so interested one in does. family history these days, why don't you go by St. Louis Cemetery Number One and visit the family tomb? Finally, it would be such a sweet gesture. It's just past the Ross tomb, right? Oh, maybe I will. Yeah, now you want to go? Let's see if there's any more information. Tell me something about Granddad. Your Granddad supported me and your father with bookkeeping. Oh, I tell you what, though, he hated every minute of it. Didn't really like bookkeeping one bit. Maybe that was why he had the worst luck with jobs. Oh, the nights he'd come home afraid to tell me he lost another. And I'd tell him it didn't matter to me, but he felt ashamed, Gabriel. Tell me something about Granddad. Harrison was only 36 when he died. Jeez. Your father was eight years old at the time. Your granddad was hit by a streetcar in mm, the business okay. district. That makes sense. It took me nearly a year to believe he was really gone. I'm sorry, Grant. Oh, I know you are, dear. Tell me something about granddad. Let's push this Did subject. Did you know that more. your granddad was a poet? He was. He wrote the most beautiful poetry for me when we were courting. I always thought he should have done something with that gift, but... He was such a practical man. Didn't believe in chasing <laughs> after dreams. Oh, good. We've just there we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take out everyone Philip so I can find all I can. Philip terrible nightmares, just like your granddad did. Oh, they were two peas in a pod. Tell me about my father. When Philip met your mother, oh, it was love at first sight. They were married two weeks later. Dang. Never looked at a girl seriously until then, and I got married after nine money. months. But you have your father's way with women, Gabriel, and your granddad's. <laughs> huh. Tell me about my father. I wanted to just lay down and die when he and your mother were killed in that car crash when you were only eight. Well, what it is was that the about? Of taking care of you that kept me going, Gabriel. The police say your father swerved off the road after being frightened by something. Perhaps a deer on the road, or a wildcat. I don't know. That's suspicious. Tell me about my father. So many members of the family losing their fathers at eight. Your granddad wanted Philip to have a normal life. He was obsessed by that thought. He pushed Philip to go to law school, but Philip was driven to art. He painted he almost eight. in a daze. He would get so inside himself when he worked. How could he push him for anything? He was like eight years old when we pushed him for Tell nothing. Tell me about my father. He always hated that it was Margaret's money that supported the three of you when his painting couldn't. I kept telling him, try something more cheerful, like a landscape or two, but he couldn't do it. His work was just too dark and disturbing for the public, you know. 
<laughs> Tell me about my mother. Your mother's family refused to give her money after the marriage. All she had left was a modest trust fund from her great aunt, who happened to like Philip. The remainder of your mother's trust fund became yours when she died. That's what you used to open your bookshop. Yeah. Tell me about my mother. The Templetons are all gone now. Every last one of them. Oh, they never wanted anything to do with us, of course. What a waste. Hmm. Well, that's that track. I'm not going to go into this any further. Have you baked any of your incredible molasses pies lately? No, dear. But you let me know when you want some, and I'll whip up a half a dozen. Ooh, we. Oh, nothing. Never mind. Let's get All upstairs right, and see what the boxes are that she wanted me to check out. Go up to the attic, Brian. Be careful of the dust. It looks pretty heavy. Oh, I want to pick it up. I want to look at it. Use it. There's a lot of Granddad's old stuff in here. Might be something interesting. We'll see. The bundle of letters. Love letters between Harrison and Rebecca. More of Harrison Knight's German books. Just what I need. <laughs> huh, I just wanted to pick that up. That's weird. Some old clothes, including a pair of leather shorts. Aren't those called lederhosen? Lederhosen. I don't know the hat. Nothing behind the sign. It's wooden cross. Oh, there we go. What's this? It's some sort of key. It? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Look at this clock. An elaborate mechanical clock, probably of German origin, is among the discarded treasures of the attic. The face of the clock is hand painted. A ring of six symbols surrounds the face of the clock. Okay. A sword, a sun, an angel, a noose, an eclipse, and a dragon. The ring of Why symbols doesn't like appear to have any mechanical function, but it does move. There's an interesting design in the base of the clock. Hmm. So, one, two, three, four, <laughs> doesn't do anything. They don't do much of anything at all. Looks like the key I got a little bit, doesn't it? Kinda. Oh, there's a key down here. Nothing happened. Oh, let's try this again. Looking at the stuff on there, I went back and the poem, I thought it was written in the stuff. I actually had to check that out and um, actually go back to the store, but we're back here and um, it said something about um, Draken. Uh, Trey Draken, Trey Draken, which would be three dragons. So we're gonna see if three o'clock and dragons makes this work. There the it is. He wants the clock's mechanism. Three dragons. Where These are the achievement fox. I got. Perfect. A secret draw has opened in the base of the clock. OK. 
Okay. What is in it? The letter is written in German, but Gabriel determines what he can about it. It was sent from a place called Schloss Ritter in Rittersburg, West really? Germany. Really? The letter is addressed to Mein Sohn Heinz and signed Wilhelm Ritter. One of the reoccurring words strewn throughout the letter is the word Schattenjäger. The only other thing that Gabriel can decipher about the letter is a sense of urgency in the handwriting and in the heavy use of a quill tip, bold strokes and underlining. Hmm. The letter is written. It was the, the back of the photo has the following written on it. Schloss Ritter, 1925. Cool. All right. Well, we got that. Golf bag. Golf was never my game. I'm not sure what my game was, but it wasn't golf. <laughs> I think I'll leave that up here. All right, let's get down and see if Grandma knows anything about these. So, give her the, the, the letter, see if she knows anything about this letter. And the photo would work. Does this mean anything to you, Graham? Uh, no, dear. I'm afraid I don't speak a word of German. Of course. But let's try this. Does this mean anything to you, Grant? Do you speak a word of photos? That one in the middle is your grandfather. Those other two, oh, I don't know. Can we talk, Grant? Of course, my boy. Well, what do you I know, lady? Do you know anyone named Heinz Ritter? Heinz Ritter? Oh, Gabriel. Heinz Ketchup? Where did you hear that name? I found a letter in Granddaddy's clock. Oh, I promised I'd never tell you or your father, but I suppose it doesn't matter uh -oh. now. Tell me, Graham. Your granddad's name was Heinz Ritter before he came to America. He changed it to Harrison Knight legally when he arrived. Do oh. you know anyone named Wolfgang Ritter? Wolfgang Ritter? No, dear. Huh. Oh. As I said, your granddad's surname was originally Ritter. Information. Have you ever heard of a Schottenjäger? I have. Schottenjäger? A shot of Jaeger. Gotcha. Schottenjäger. Oh, how odd, Gabriel. I haven't heard that word in years. My goodness, you've given me a chill. Your granddad used to say that sometimes in his sleep. Really? Do you know what it means? No, Which I'm afraid not. I asked Shadow him about hunter? it once. I, I don't think he answered me. Odd. Huh. Thanks, Graham. Hmm. You've lost weight. Are you caught in a new man? Oh, Gabriel. Don't be silly. You know there'll never be anyone but your granddad for me. <laughs> oh, nothing. Never mind. All right, dear. All right. Well, I'm going to go head over to the cemetery, but we'll hold, go ahead and hold that off for another episode. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying this as of us um, basically meeting up with Grandma and stuff here, but <laughs> get some good background in here, which leads me to believe it'll be the next chapter. I'll probably end up having to read the book to get background on this, but I never remember when it is. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Hey fellow Asians, don't forget to like and subscribe by clicking the button in the center of the screen. You can also find the last video by clicking the button to the left, and you can take a look at some of the other stuff I've done by clicking the button to the right. Hope you enjoyed the video, and have a good day.